Okay, so uh, without further delay, let's start the seminar. Okay, um, a good good afternoon or good morning <laughs> depends on where you are. Uh, okay, today we we um we are happy to have uh, Doctor Chen Ti Yong, um, to give us uh, a, a, a talk in our seminar series. So let me introduce uh, Doctor Chen. Doctor Ti Yong Chen is a professor at the Department of Mathematics at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Um, recently, he has funded the Center for Mathematical Artificial Intelligence at the Chinese University of Hong Kong and served as a director. So, Ti uh, Yongzhan uh, received a bachelor degree from Peking University and then uh, got his PhD from uh, University of Paris at 13. Uh, his research interests include image processing, optimization, um, scientific computing and inverse problem, and of course, involve the machine learning. So he published a lot of paper in science journals, IEEE journals. So today, I think um, Ti Yong will share us with something about the inverse problem, one of the very interesting uh, problem in image processing, talking about how to do the blind image deburring. So uh, Ti Yong, pass the, uh, the, 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 the mic to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Michael. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, as the organizer. So, uh, good evening or good uh, good morning. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, actually, I'm very happy uh, to uh, to to, uh, to present our recent work on uh, blind uh, image deep learning. Uh, actually, I, I learned this topic uh, from uh, from Michael and G. Actually, uh, when uh, we were in uh, Baptist, okay. At that time, we think that this problem is a little bit, uh, uh, it was a little bit difficult, but nowadays it turns out, okay, it is, uh, it is still challenging, but uh, we have many uh, possible way uh, to handle this problem. Uh, so actually, so here is a joint work with uh, many people uh, including uh, Michael and Ji here, uh, also uh, Professor Wu Qing Qing in, in Nanjing, uh, Professor Lu Jin, uh, Liu Jin, uh, uh, Ye Ming, and all the other peoples, okay, and including uh, many uh, students, okay, uh, including many students. So uh, here is the outline. So I will first introduce the inverse field approach for this problem, and then uh, present the, the so-called surface aware method to handle uh, blind debris. And then uh, because in many, many cases, again, okay, uh, the kernel estimate uh, maybe uh, contains the error. So we will discuss the kernel method. Also, they will try to use the other uh, typical method. Okay, for example, the Catalin method, uh, uh, for deburring, okay. Also for uh, for uh, for blind deburring, okay. Uh, we we also uh, we try to uh, address these issues, but uh, uh, because it is a vast topics, okay. It is vast topic, so uh, maybe uh, many uh, deta details are missed, okay. Uh, so if you are interested, I uh, can send you the papers, okay. I uh, can discuss uh, further. Uh, Actually, so, so uh, you you are, you are uh, very familiar. We are very familiar with the uh, blind uh, deconvolution problem. Okay, here uh, you you have f uh, equals h u plus n. So f is a decreated image. Uh, u is a clear image. Uh, h is the blurring operator. Uh, it could be uh, could be no, could be unknown. Here we we assume that most of the time is unknown. Okay. Uh, n is some uh, noise. So this is a very uh, challenging problem, okay? Uh, for many uh, years, people have pro proposed many excellent methods uh, to handle this uh, ear post uh, uh, problem, okay? Um, so uh, usually, okay, we assume that, okay, the kernel uh, can be written as a space uh, invariant uh, model, okay? Then in this case, okay, we can written F as a, H uh, combination with this U plus this uh, uh, noise, okay? And this H is a uh, uh, PSF. So uh, in, in the problem of the blind uh, deep learning, okay, usually we need to estimate this H and U simultaneously, okay? So it's rather a uh, challenge, okay? Uh, we could do it uh, simultaneously, but so we can also uh, first, do uh, first to estimate uh, the kernel H 
uh, and then I use the, uh, the, the classical uh, debris method to handle uh, this problem. Okay? Uh, you have many, many possible ways to handle uh, this, this problem. Um, uh, so if uh, uh, here, okay, in the first uh, part, uh, actually, so we were, uh, 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 we are interested in the so-called the inverse fit approach. Uh, basically, we're assuming that, okay, uh, you, that you can find, okay, some, uh, some K, uh, kernel K is called the, uh, the ideal inverse filter. This one convolution with this H equals this data, okay, this, this data is data uh, contribution, uh, distribution. So for if you you can find okay such kind of k okay so oh not exactly but approximately it can give you some uh, nice result okay uh, actually so if you conversion with the original model then actually you can k conversion with f equals this clear image u uh, because in this one you, you get a data field a data field conversion with anything is this uh, is itself okay uh, plus this kind of noise. And though, so in, in three, actually, you, you can understand the K convolution with F, okay, uh, equals this U. So originally, you, you want to find this H and U simultaneously, but uh, here, if you do uh, think about the inverse filter, so you, 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 can, you can just find this K, okay, inverse filter, and then K convolution with F, you, you can get this U. That's to say, uh, in the origin problem, you have two uh, unknowns, but now you, you just have k, okay? You just have k, uh, and then we can uh, consider this uh, typical PSF, okay? For example, Gaussian kernel, uh, motion kernel, or other kernels. And for this kind of kernel, they use the Fourier uh, transform, uh, Fourier uh, coefficients relation. Actually, you can uh, you can get okay, uh, roughly the inverse field. For example, this is the Gaussian. This is the uh, original filters. And the, you, you can get the inverse filter explicitly. And the, this kind of inverse filters has some os, uh, oscillations. Uh, basically, you can assume that they are in, uh, they are in the so-called uh, the Meyer's uh, GLOM space, okay? And there's also in the second, uh, second column, actually, this is a brilliant image, okay? Uh, it can be, convolution with the inverse filter, actually, you can get the image, okay, with a very high PSR, actually, is nearly the clear image, okay? So as you say, uh, this verifies that the kernel, the image filter, if you can find such kind of good filter, image filter, uh, you can get the, the, the restored uh, image, okay? So that's to say, now the problem is to find a suitable uh, image filter, okay? A suitable image filter. So uh, as I mentioned, okay, uh, we observed that uh, the, the image filter has some oscillation. So now we use this, uh, uh, may is GLOM, okay, uh, to, uh, to um, uh, uh, quantify this one. Uh, basically, for, for this, uh, uh, this uh, the GLOM of, of this one, actually, uh, it should be K, okay? Actually, you, you write this K with uh, this relation six, and then you find, find all the possible, uh, possible expression and find the inference, okay? Then you, you get a, a quantity that is called the, the slalom, okay? At the slalom. Um, so now, okay, uh, we can uh, consider our proposed model. Actually, what we are do is to minimize this JK. K is the inverse filter. Uh, J1 K basically means, okay, the mean value of this K uh, should be one. Okay, this is from the Fourier uh, uh, relation, uh, Fourier coefficient relation. J2 uh, K K means because K star is a clear image. So we are minimizing the TV, okay, minimizing the TV. And J3 K is the, uh, uh, Stalom, okay, and G4K actually is just uh, some projection uh, background information, but you can omit this one, okay. And then you you, you check all the turns carefully. You you will see that all these uh, turns are uh, are convex. Okay, the original problem is by uh, by uh, B convex problem, so it's non convex. But now, if you just consider uh, the 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 K problem, okay, inverse problem, the, the inverse field problem, so it is convex problem, right? So we can solve this one with many uh, um, good method. For example, the, the CP uh, method. Okay, basically uh, you transfer your original problem, okay, into a mean max problem, okay, a mean max problem. And then you uh, you move a little bit along the mean direction and move a little bit along the max direction, you get some uh, ex ex uh, uh, extra relation. And then you, you can get this solution, okay. 
let me show you the, the result, uh, some typical result. The first one is the uh, double TV, okay? Uh, basically is proposed by Tony Chen and his uh, students many years ago, okay? To minimize U, clear image as uh, minimize U and also minimize the TV of the kernel, okay? And the IBD is a typical window uh, uh, field method. And this last ref method is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, the previous the atmospheric method. Okay, this TV uh, reef actually is proposed by uh, by Michael, Professor Michael Ng here. So uh, another uh, TV based uh, atmospheric method. Okay, uh, let us check the uh, result. So we use uh, the uh, we add some noise. Okay, uh, we add some noise. Uh, also have some uh, uh, blurring. So um, here, so uh, you you have some uh, observation. This, this they are the blur image. So this is DTV. Uh, this uh, is the IBD. This is last method. And this is uh, a TV reef. This is ours. So uh, you can see that it seems that, okay, uh, we can get some, uh, uh, eliminate some uh, artifact. For example, here, you have some artifact very clear, but here uh, we, we can reduce uh, this one a little bit. Okay, we can reduce a little bit. And uh, so we, uh, we test many uh, different uh, images and different uh, uh, kernel, okay, different kernel. Um, and uh, we, we check the PSN values and the SSIM. Okay, you can see that it seems that, okay, most of the time we can get the, uh, some uh, uh, improvement, okay, over the PSN values uh, also for the SSM. So you say, uh, it seems that, okay, uh, for this kind of approach, okay, it, it works, okay, uh, it, it works. Uh, we we test the other image. Okay, uh, you you can see that uh, similarly. Okay, maybe this is not uh, very clear, but you you can check the PSR values. Okay, uh, all the, for the all the PSR values, we can uh, improve a little bit. But be careful. Okay, our method is still a TV method. Okay, is uh, you can improve this one by uh, other uh, advanced uh, uh, regularizer. Okay, uh, other uh, regularizer. Um, so, so that's to say, just now, what we are talking about, okay, what we are talking about is the um, mathematical uh, method, okay, uh, original problem is the, uh, is non comex but we reduced the, uh, it has two variables, okay, U and the kernel, okay, the clear image and the kernel, so we only consider the inverse field, you, could, you just get a one, uh, you just get um, the the one uh, uh, comix model, okay? Comix model with uh, just one unknown, so it, it, it works, okay? It works, uh, but uh, not so uh, perfect uh, because, okay, uh, because the the we still using the TV, okay? And many advanced relation, okay? We did not adjust, okay? We hope that we can improve a little bit. Now we consider uh, another approach. Okay, another approach, uh, what, what we call this one is called surface error approach, okay? Uh, so um, basic idea is that, okay, we minimize some surface uh, error, okay? Uh, regularization term, okay? Uh, as we know, okay, uh, commonly the pre-image uh, with, uh, with very different statistical features, okay? Uh, for example, uh, this kind of text image, okay? The blue is very heavy. And the cartoon image, the natural image, or, or this kind of first image. Okay, uh, you usually you need to use different statistical features to uh, to capture this one. Okay, and we have different types of brain uh, image. And uh, as mentioned, okay, usually we use some uh, preset priors. Okay, TV or other uh, TGV or other terms. But uh, usually this kind of intensity sparsity or extremely channel sparsity. Okay, uh, maybe fail for this blind uh, uh, brain because, okay, this problem is somewhat challenging, okay, challenging, especially the touched image does not fit uh, those uh, statistic features. So we want to uh, improve uh, this preset prior a little bit, okay, a little bit. So here uh, is uh, uh, some uh, uh, typical uh, example, okay, uh, is some uh, uh, typical uh, example. So this is the uh, ECCV image, okay, with unknown, uh, unknown, uh, uh, blurring kernel. Uh, so this is the uh, other the the shoes method. Okay, a shoes method. Uh, this is the method is pan's method. This is our method. You can see that uh, with some uh, techniques, uh, really you can improve it a little bit. But how can we uh, how can we 
uh, do it, okay? Uh, this is also uh, work for, for this uh, lateral image, okay? So the blur is somewhat heavy, but for ours, okay, uh, just one channel, you can see that uh, we can see some uh, uh, good result, especially for, for them here, you don't have a um, artifact, but if you, from here, okay, you, also here, this part, you have some artifact, okay? As uh, you say, uh, if you modify uh, some uh, uh, preset, this uh, uh, prior, okay, uh, the rigorous turn, you can still, it's possible for you to get some uh, uh, good result, but how can we, uh, how can we do it? So as mentioned, okay, as mentioned, okay, uh, actually, uh, many works uh, illustrated that the importance of the age information, especially in the blurry uh, kernel estimation, this is, this is the uh, very important, okay, very important because for, for blurry image, for example, uh, in the first image here, you will see that the, the information are completely uh, lost, okay? Only those, uh, those uh, age information, maybe you can see some uh, information, right? So this uh, this age information is more trustful uh, than the other information. So we should take a, a advantage uh, of this uh, assumption. Okay, uh, we should take a advantage of this one. So then you say we want to work a little bit on the age information. Okay, but this kind of sudden the ages. Okay, uh, usually when we do the uh, so. Here, what we do the uh, approach is to first estimate the kernel. Okay, after the kernel, we do the uh, classical uh, deep learning. Okay, do the classic deep learning. So, although this kind of age information in the internet, this clear image, uh, in the latent image, uh, are important for this one. Okay, but usually you, you simple, simply keep uh, the, 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 this kind of age is not in, enough uh, because, okay, main, it, it, some other disadvantage structures, for example, the the uh, the spiking structure, maybe it is from the noise. So you say you simply keep in them. Okay, maybe you cannot get a good result. Okay, uh, you need to do some techniques uh, to do this one. Okay, so here we, we show the example. Uh, the A is a brain image. Uh, B is just you use the gradient sparsity, for example. The Arizona norm for the gradient. Okay, this is a typical approach uh, in uh, a typical approach uh, in blind learning. And here is our approach. Okay, we change a little bit. You, you will see that. Okay, uh, the we can remove the the spiking things here. Okay, but the keep the the better image. And then from example here from the uh, the letters here we is 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 somewhat better. Okay, somewhat better. So what we are doing is, is like this one. So usually what uh, people do is use the age driven, uh, driven okay? Uh, you, you consider age, you can consider the L, L0 gradient uh, minimization. But the L0 minimization still allows some uh, uh, spiky this, uh, this uh, information, okay? Uh, you, you can still have some, uh, uh, some uh, uh, spiky parts. And what we want to do, is to remove this specky part because it could be harmful for the uh, for the specky artifact. It could be very harmful for the resulting image for the kernel estimation. Okay, uh, in order to do that, uh, we use okay, uh, we use surface error uh, term. Okay, uh, so what we we do uh, is use the surface error over the graph. Okay, and we we still want to preserve the sharp edge, so we keep the uh, error zero turn of the gradient, but we want to remove some uh, uh, some uh, um and some uh, disadvantage structures, spiky uh, structures in the intermediate image. So we we want to smooth uh, this artifact. Yeah, we want to smooth this artifact. So what we do uh, is very simple. So we consider the mini uh, minimum surface problem. So what you need to do is to minimize this energy. So and this, uh, uh, this uh, boundary condition. And from this line, actually, if you take uh, replace this one as zero, is a classical TV. But you have some one or epsilon here. We know that if you uh, if you have some epsilon here, you could have some smear effect or some washing out, so some uh, not so good effect. But for here, for us, uh, it's better because in the uh, estimation of the kernel, you, you can some spiky structure, uh, add some extra one here, 
it helps you have it, it helps you to remove okay the spectators against okay, spectators so as you say uh, what we now to do is very simple uh, we consider we replace the classical tv okay if you you don't have this one it's a classical tv uh, some other uh, some extra term and we put it here and what we are doing we consider the minimization is just uh, okay we still keep the uh, the l0 norm of uh, respect to the gradient but we also keep the uh, surface returns okay and we can return our model as here so we mean a minus s conversion minus f this uh, uh, this is from the gaussian assumption so u is clear means h is kind of you want to estimate you have some regularization for this h okay because you don't have any information you just use l2 long to do it uh, this value is from here so we combine the arrow zero norm for the gradient and the surface error, okay? And then for this problem, okay, um, you, you can do it, okay? Uh, you, you can uh, find some suitable algorithm to separate them, okay, to separate them. Uh, we, what we do is use this, uh, the splitting method, okay, splitting method, uh, du when beta uh, alpha uh, and this beta this coefficient tends to be empty. Then you go back to the, uh, uh, to the uh, original model, but uh, usually you don't need alpha beta, uh, fortunately, you don't need, need alpha beta uh, to be very big, okay? To be big, just to take some uh, a smaller value is good uh, enough to keep, to keep the value, okay? Keep the uh, performance. And then you can update this UVWH, okay? Uh, iteratively, okay? Iteratively, for example, this we had just uh, uh, this uh, this uh, five, five problem. Uh, this W is due to the, uh, error zero minimization. This U hat is uh, is this one, okay, is uh, 16. And so all these steps you can solve, uh, solve uh, them efficiently, okay? Uh, you can solve it efficiently. But when you do this, uh, do the mean, the one of them is for the minimization problem, okay, 17. Uh, if you, you do this one directly, sometimes it's not so good, okay? Uh, we slightly modify it, okay? We, we change the L2 norm as a regularization of the gradient term, okay, uh, to, to to try to get the um, a more stable or uh, accurate result. But be careful, okay, uh, for brain delivery, uh, you need many such kind of tricky things if you want to get the good result, because um, uh, as far as I understand, okay, the problem is so somewhat challenging, okay, somewhat challenging. But anyway, so you, you can solve this problem, okay? You, you can solve this problem. And uh, let us report some uh, uh, numerical experiment of, of, uh, on some popular uh, data set, okay? Popular data set. Uh, here is uh, one of the uh, results, okay? On the, the col color set, okay? So we can solve uh, the, 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 this uh, red one is ours, okay? And this is for the PS family. You can see that. Uh, ours is somewhat uh, better than uh, other method, okay, uh, and uh, other method. Uh, here is a typical example. Uh, here is a typical example. So this is a brain image. Uh, this is a Christiansen method. This is a Pan's method, okay. Uh, this is a Cho's method, she's a method, other method, okay. Uh, and this is uh, ours. So you can see that, okay. Uh, we we did uh, remove some uh, uh, disadvantage the, the the structures because we have some uh, extra turn okay uh, for example here uh, you 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 have some special structures but here uh, is completely uh, flat uh, it is not maybe it's not okay in certain cases you, you if you want more information but for some uh, application maybe it is better okay it depends what do you want okay it depends what do you want. And here is uh, another example, okay? So this is a, a blurry image, okay? You don't have the, uh, you don't have the uh, kernel, okay? You don't have the kernel, you just, uh, um, you don't have the kernel, okay? Uh, you don't know, you want to estimate. So here are, are the other method, and this one, okay, is our kernel. It, it seems that our, our kernel is somewhat sharp, okay? Uh, pretty good, okay? And the, the, the image, the quality, if you check carefully, maybe it's better, okay? But at least, at least the kernel is, is somewhat sharp, okay? It's somewhat sharp. 
this is the other uh, image. So this is a nature image, okay? A nature image for some method, for example, here you have some specky points, I guess specky point. But here, because we have the surface area, uh, we can remove this specky uh, turns. And also the kernel is somewhat uh, sharp, okay? It's somewhat sharp, okay? Uh, the, the result is somewhat uh, reasonable. Uh, this is an, another one, okay, another one. Uh, visually, it uh, looks a little a bit, uh, a little bit, okay, better, but uh, it depends what you want, okay? Uh, so this is the uh, second part. So as you say, uh, instead of the mini, minimizing the L0 norm of the gradient, we add some extra term, okay? The shift ever, ever term. And you, so it, it is uh, slightly modified, but uh, it turns out you, 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 uh, you Many special cases, you can get some better uh, numerical result. But be careful for this kind of method. Uh, maybe you ask a question because you use two step method to do the blind depression, uh, depression problem. Okay. So you need to estimate the kernel. Okay. And then you do the blind, uh, do the classical depression. But the kernel maybe is incorrect, right? So maybe, so, so what we can see that here in the third part is actually we want to. Allow allow some kernel error. Just you say you cannot not need not to be exact. Okay, and then can we still handle this problem or not? The answer is yes. Okay, what we are testing is consider the the MEM method. Okay, so so still the the this uh, blurry model. So MEM method is a, a is a totally different approach with the classical TV method. What do you need to do is assume that okay you have some. Uh, uh, distribution, okay, for your uh, clear image. And then if once you fix this uh, distribution rule and the clear image, just the expedition of this variable you, okay, the, 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 the variable. And this rule is in some uh, uh, admission space. And this edge computes the distance between rule and some predefined, predefined this uh, distribution mu, okay, uh, is, is fixed. And then you, you do it, okay. Uh, astonishingly, this one uh, gives some uh, very nice result, uh, in some nice result. But what we, what we want to do is to improve it, it a little bit, okay? Uh, it, especially when the image has some noise, okay? Uh, for the original method, okay, it cannot handle this one. You need to denoise a little bit, then you, you do it, okay? Uh, and also, as I mentioned, you could have some kernel error, right? Uh, so what do we we do is consider uh, L two norm of the kernel kernel error term. So here is our uh, approach. Okay, uh, this is the uh, original uh, the classical one. Classical one, you, you what you need to change is phi phi u right? What do you need to change? So phi when phi u you, you you we take the phi u as this one. So uh, this phi u depends on some uh, distribution rule. And the, the computer it minimizes distance between the the KL divergence between room is some pre prefined this mu, and the expedition of u equals mu. Okay, so this is our model. Okay, uh, our model uh, uses splitting technique. What do we do? Uh, what do we do is uh, minimize f. This h is uh, the est the the filter. Okay, this filter need not to be exact. Okay. And you could have some error. This E is the error term uh, allow you to do. Uh, you have some phi U from the, uh, the, the MEM method. And this is to regularize the TV to remove the noise. And then you will allow a little bit of error for this one. And then for this model, you, you can sew it, okay? Uh, you do the, this half quadratic splitting technique and then you update to this, uh, uh, you, you update this kind of things iteratively, okay? Uh, U, V, K, E, okay? Uh, for V and E, you can solve this one by some close formula. And you actually, you can use some BFGS uh, algorithm to do it, okay? Uh, you do this one, uh, it rotated it, okay? Um, be careful, okay? Uh, so this one can give you some good result, but at the cost, because it's an iterative method, okay? Uh, then the time is rather consuming, okay? Uh, if you can uh, improve this one, I, I will be very happy, okay? I will be very happy. So let me show you uh, the, the, the result. Uh, so this is a clear image. Uh, so this B uh, is some, uh, uh, some blurring image, okay? Blurring image. And here, uh, we give you the kernel, but the kernel is not exact. 
uh, is, is kernel contains some error. And then you, you see the MEMS, you, you, because the, 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 the kernel is incorrect, then you have some oscillation here. But here, the artifact, we can reduce a little bit, okay, uh, by this, uh, by our technique, okay, because we allow, allow the, the kernel turn, okay. Um, so in terms of PC, uh, PSNR, we can have similar observation. So this is MEM, original MEMS, and this is ours, okay, we can, uh, improve a little bit, okay. I uh, improve a little bit, and this is for uh, motion blurring. Uh, similar to, uh, similarly, we can uh, improve a little bit, and we also compare our method, okay, with some uh, uh, classical method. Seven is uh, the original ME uh, method, uh, so uh, so we compare with some uh, typical method, okay, typical method. So, uh, so here is a blurring image, okay. A brilliant image, and the kernel we give you the kernel not exact okay because the kernel is not it's not exact. So uh, the kernel actually we are use the kernel estimation by the paper eleven okay. Uh, use, use use this paper, and then it's it's incorrect okay, okay. it's in, uh, in inaccurate. So you can see that okay uh, from the PSNR we can see that we can uh, get some uh, better uh, better uh, PSNR values. And you look at, okay, uh, here we have some details, okay, similar to the sharp image, okay, similar to the subject. Uh, here, the number is, uh, is too smooth, okay, uh, we, we, we can improve it a bit. Here is another example, okay, uh, is an, an example. So this is uh, uh, the, 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 with this kernel, okay, with this kernel, and you get the, the blurry image, okay, it's somewhat not, not good. And these are, are the other method, okay, other method. And you see that uh, ours, okay, uh, is somewhat similar to the sharp image, okay, uh, some similar to the sharp image, okay. You can also compare the uh, PSN values, okay, uh, it, it's somewhat better, okay, somewhat better. Okay, so just now, as mentioned, okay, uh, for the kernel estimation, it could you you could have some error, right? Now, okay, we go to the color image uh, restoration. For the color image, usually it has several, uh, it has three, for example, three channels. And uh, in order to uh, estimate the kernel, okay, uh, usually many many methods just to do uh, to estimate this uh, uh, simultaneously, uh, not simultaneously, uh, the the one by one, and then choose one of them. But this is not good because you 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 don't use all the information here. So what do we do here? We we uh, want to use the uh, all the channel information. Okay, so we use the Catalan uh, approach. Okay, Catalan approach to uh, to 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 do this one. So basically, U can be written as U one, U two, U three because you, usually you can say U zero as as as, a, as zero. And then you want you to uh, you three, so you get a Catalan. And for the Catalan, it satisfies the special uh, algebraic rules. Okay, algebraic rules. Um, so, okay, what we do uh, is use the so-called the the the, uh, the pure uh, Catalan. Okay, U equals this U R U G U B uh, as a color uh, RGB channels. Okay, RGB channels. And then this is a classical TV models. And then if we use the rules, okay, the uh, operators in the Catalan, then we can consider, uh, for, we can modify the TV regularizer uh, as the SVTV. Okay, this is proposed uh, by Professor Michael Ng here. Uh, so so uh, this one, okay, in the same journal. So uh, consider the SVTV. Actually, the SVTV is, is just the uh, change the U into the HSV uh, space and uh, consider the TV in S space and V uh, S channel and V channel and if, uh, and uh, and do this one. Be careful here. We change F this this U all the uh, all this kind of, also this kind of uh, operators and va uh, variables in the uh, in the Catalan space. Okay, in the Catalan space and then. Uh, you you actually can be written as the matrix transform, okay, under this one. So this is our, our model, yeah, our model. So what do you need to is F minus HU because be careful, what, we are in the Catalan space. Uh, the SVTV 
and the the the, the error zero turn and the dictionary turn. Okay, diction turn. Uh, you can uh, actually what we do is to use uh, some uh, training image uh, to find the dictionary. Okay, the dictionary, and then put it into the the model and get get the restoration method. Okay, get the restoration method. So let me show you the numerical result. Okay, uh, we test for this kind of images. Uh, we use some uh, uh, typical method, including the the BM3D method. Okay, uh, so this is a degraded image. Uh, this is the stock image BM3D and the other method. Okay, uh, we compute the average values. It seems that okay, uh, we can get somewhat the better uh, PS values. Okay, uh, so this is a visual effect. You you will see that it's somewhat is slightly clear. Here you have some color uh, artifact. Okay, color artifact. Uh, this is the same. You have the color artifact. This is not good. Okay, uh, BM3D here depends on the parameters. Okay, and then ours looks uh, looks slightly uh, better. Okay, uh, slightly better. Uh, just you say, uh, use this kind of uh, color information. Uh, really, you can improve this one a little bit. Now we want to uh, use this one. Uh, use this one extent. Okay, our, our uh, surface error approach. Uh, to the this uh, uh, this canonical approach, okay, we we consider in the uh, HSV space. Uh, actually, uh, so this is a transfer a transformation to get the uh, HSV. Uh, H, okay, you don't have too many too much information, so we we concentrate on this S and V space, okay. Uh, here, me, uh, this is uh, other vectors, okay. Uh, I I J K are the canonical vectors, and uh, so. You can write this one as SV. Okay, C is a matrix. V uh, is the linear transform with this one. And put uh, so this is original TV. Okay, it depends on what kind of file you are using, right? Uh, you are using. And if you so you can consider just the H channel. Okay, you can do this 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 one. You can also put some SV space. Actually, it's the same. Okay, it's the same as before. And the only difference is that. Uh, Inspired by the surface error approach, we had a one here to remove the spiky scenes, okay, spiky scenes. So uh, here is the difference between just use the S channel and the SV channel. You can see that the estimation is somewhat better, okay, it's somewhat better. So now is the model. The model we slightly changed, okay, changed. So this is SV uh, geometric and we're applying to brain model. So what we do, we, for the, for the edge, we transfer into the uh, canonical space. Uh, F also uh, with this P, okay, the P is some fixed matrix okay, from, uh, uh, from the inspired by the, um, by the, the uh, SV's approach. And then if you write with this one, the, uh, we, we use the arrow, uh, the, the Q norm, okay, uh, with the grid, the arrow the norm of this Q, okay. After, after you get this Q, you can, Transfer it back. You, you can you must it back. You get the clear image. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, our uh, basic model. Okay. You solve this kind of model, and you can get the numerical result. Let me show you. So this is some uh, the testing kernel. Uh, this is a testing image, and here is the method we uh, we want to uh, compare into putting the the uh, the most uh, recent one. Okay. In, including this uh, Hessen is uh, from uh, CVPR uh, uh, pattern recognition 2021. Okay, a very recent one. So let me uh, show you the uh, numerical result. Um, here, this is a blurry image. So we compare a lot of method. Uh, this Liu is is our PAMI paper. Okay, uh, is our PAMI paper, and uh, and for the. After the um, after the kernel image, okay, uh, the, the, after the kernel, we use two methods to do it. One is uh, the same as the previous papers. Another one is use uh, a method from the uh, deep learning method. That's to say, given a filter, a filter, you use the deep learning method for the second step. So this is ours. So you can see from the PS values, you can clearly see that, okay, ours is better. Uh, for example, you here, uh, original paper, our, our previous work, we don't have such kind of, we, we lost the structure information, but here, really, we can recover it, okay? Re, 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 re. And also, here the same here. 
Uh, for example, for this, uh, for this PR paper, it has some artifact, but here for ours looks somewhat better, very close to, to the uh, ground truth image. Okay, that's true image. So uh, this is a comparison, okay, comparison for the, uh, uh, for the uh, more uh, result testing uh, result, okay. Uh, we we test many testing images, eleven set, at least eleven set, and uh, we test the several uh, kernel estimation method, okay, uh, including the uh, this uh, use method. Our PAMI paper, previous paper. So this is ours, okay. Uh, our recent uh, so this purpose, okay. Uh, uh, so you can you can see that we really we can improve some of the PSM values. That's to say, uh, the color the Catalan approach is somewhat pretty good. Okay, uh, really it helps you to estimate. Okay, estimate the the the, uh, the kernel. Okay, estimate the kernel. And uh, the we are we are also working in some uh, um, other approaches to do this uh, this problem. As I mentioned, the, in order to get a better result, okay, in order to get some better result, uh, a very very important step is you do some regularization on the uh, intermediate image. Uh, for example, uh, previously we use the surface area approach. Uh, we can also use the Catalan approach. What we are what we are doing actually is very important. Just you say because this uh, blurry image you lost many many information. You 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 need to use uh, uh, some special uh, operator to retract the most important information, most trustful information. Uh, here, as mentioned, okay, what we are uh, using okay uh, in the pen paper is use the uh, L zero uh, element plus this surface zero element. And then we do this iteratively, okay? Then we do this iteratively. So uh, from the blurry image, we estimate the some initial some initial kernel, you get some result. Then you improve the kernel, you do it iteratively, finally you get a result. And then the image is very challenged. The result are not good because the image, the information you, you get it from here is not trustable. In order to do that, okay, uh, you in order to improve that, we do some pixel screening, and then we 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 change it to this result. Okay, this is not from the variation approach. Okay, variation approach is from the minimization approach. Now we directly add some extra screening uh, operator, and then you get this one. Uh, you you get some kernel, and then you get another one, and then you 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 do it again, and you try to do it, and finally, amazingly. And finally, you can see that you can get a better image with a better kernel. That is say, uh, you modify for you, you have an iterative approach, but you can um, you, you can plug some extra operator uh, to 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 uh, to modify to uh, to to enhancement the the important information. Then you can get the result. Okay, uh, so let me show you some uh, uh, result. Okay, uh, can we compare with many. Uh, typical uh, method is, for example, the CVPR method, okay, uh, is a CV method. So here yeah, is, uh, is some uh, uh, typical uh, uh, typical result, okay, a uh, typical result. So this is a brilliant image. Uh, this is a clear kernel, so it's, it's somewhat very challenged, okay, it's somewhat challenged. So this is uh, all these are the other uh, previous method for this uh, Liu, okay. It looks that the kernel estimation is pretty good. But it turns out, it turns out that the, the numerical result is not so good. Okay. At uh, least the, the uh, include all this. And here is ours. So we, we are very happy about this result. You see that really, okay, we can get the better edge, okay, a better edge here. And uh, another uh, example, this is brilliant really image, and we test a lot of uh, recent uh, method, including our PAMI paper, and this is a CVPR paper, okay? So this is ours. Really, we can improve it, okay? So that's amazing to observe this one, but uh, we, uh, we, are, we are still, we are still, we, we are still working on this, uh, unless we, we want to try to improve this one a little bit. So here uh, is a, um, a calculating part, so uh, for the challenging uh, blurring operator uh, related uh, problem, uh, so we consider several uh, approach, approaches. Okay, one approach is consider the stalum to regularize the inverse filter, okay, inverse filter. So you get a convex approach. 
And also we in, input, uh, so we input some extra surface over prior uh, to remedy the, the limitation of the simply uh, gradient sparsity. And then we also allow the kernel errors for the, to get some robust uh, the, uh, the result. And then we, we also consider the Cavalier approach uh, to, to merge the color information, like color information. So uh, one is for the, uh, for the classical deep learning. Another one, we combine this one, okay? Uh, uh, we combine this one with different, different learning. And we, we can also put this one uh, into the brain deep learning, okay? I'll get some uh, interesting result. And also we, we propose some uh, pixel screening uh, map technique, okay, to handle this, uh, this uh, problem, okay? Uh, due to the time limit, I, I did not present all the details for you, uh, but let me mention uh, some, uh, some, uh, some steps, okay? I think that we, we could do, okay? Uh, for example, uh, we can input the inverse filtering method, uh, for example, uh, to change this one for color image, uh, to get some better second step for the surface of error. Uh, we uh, try to use the kind of method to get a uh, automatically blind brain method, okay? Uh, the Catalina approaches, okay, we, we need some better techniques 